Diseases have shaped human history, and even today, some remain incredibly deadly. In this video, we're counting down the five most deadly diseases that continue to claim millions of lives each year. Let's dive in and learn about these silent killers and the impact they have on our world. Heart disease, also known as cardiovascular disease, is a leading cause of death worldwide, affecting millions of individuals each year. It's a condition that can affect anyone, regardless of age, gender, or background. Understanding the causes of heart disease is crucial for prevention and management. In this video, we'll explore the leading causes of heart disease. High blood pressure. High blood pressure or hypertension is often called the silent killer because it typically has no symptoms but can lead to serious cardiovascular problems. High blood pressure forces the heart to work harder to pump blood, which can lead to thickening of the heart muscle and narrowing of the arteries, increasing the risk of heart attack and stroke. Unhealthy diet. Diet is a critical factor in heart health. Consuming a diet high in saturated fats, trans fats, sodium, and added sugars increases the risk of heart disease. High cholesterol. Cholesterol is a fatty substance that can accumulate in the arteries leading to atherosclerosis. Low-density lipoprotein, LDL. Cholesterol is particularly harmful as it contributes to plaque formation in the arteries, increasing the risk of heart disease. Family history. Having a family history of heart disease increases an individual's risk, as genetic factors can play a role in the development of this condition. Specific genetic mutations can influence cholesterol levels, blood pressure, and other factors that contribute to heart disease. Obesity. Obesity is a major risk factor for heart disease. Excess weight particularly around the waistline can lead to blood pressure, diabetes, and cholesterol levels, all of which boost the risk of heart disease. Diabetes. Diabetes significantly increases the risk of heart disease. High blood sugar levels can damage blood vessels and the nerves that control the heart. Effective management of blood sugar levels, with diet and healthy lifestyle, can manage these risks. Lack of physical activity. A lazy lifestyle is a major contributor to heart disease. Regular physical activity helps to maintain a healthy weight, reduces blood pressure, and improves cholesterol levels. Incorporating at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week can significantly reduce the risk of heart disease. Stress. Chronic stress raises blood pressure, heart rate, and cholesterol levels, increasing the risk of heart disease. Stress management techniques like mindfulness, yoga, and regular physical activity can help reduce its impact on heart health. Smoking. Smoking is one of the most significant risk factors for heart disease. It damages the lining of the arteries, promotes plaque buildup, and reduces oxygen in the blood, making the heart work harder. Excessive alcohol consumption. Excessive alcohol consumption can lead to high blood pressure, heart failure, and even stroke. While moderate alcohol consumption has been associated with some heart health benefits, excessive drinking is harmful. Age. The risk of heart disease increases with age, as blood vessels naturally narrow and become less flexible over time. Sleep disorders. Sleep disorders, including sleep apnea and insomnia are linked to an increased risk of heart disease. Poor sleep can lead to high blood pressure, obesity, and diabetes. Ensuring adequate and quality sleep is vital for overall cardiovascular health. Here are the warning signs of a heart attack. Chest discomfort or pain. One of the most common signs of a heart attack is discomfort in the center of the chest. It might feel like pressure, tightness, fullness, or pain, lasting for a few minutes or happening repeatedly, recurring intermittently. Upper body pain. Pain or discomfort may also spread beyond the chest to other parts of the upper body. This can include the arms, particularly the left arm, back, neck, jaw, or stomach. Some people experience pain in these areas without chest discomfort. Shortness of breath. Feeling short of breath, with or without chest discomfort, can be a warning sign of a heart attack. 
It may occur before or along with chest pain. Cold sweat. Breaking out excessive sweating, often described as cold sweats, even in a cool room, can be a sign of a heart attack. Dizziness or lightheadedness. Feeling lightheadedness or dizziness can also indicate a heart attack, particularly if these symptoms accompany chest discomfort. Nausea or vomiting. Some people may experience nausea, indigestion, heartburn, or vomiting during a heart attack. These symptoms are more common in women. Fatigue. A sudden feeling of weakness or fatigue, whether in the entire body or in specific areas, can occur during a heart attack. Especially if it occurs suddenly and is not relieved by rest, can be a warning sign of heart attack. Anxiety. Some people may experience a sense of impending doom, anxiety, or panic during a heart attack. Indigestion or heartburn like symptoms. Sometimes, symptoms of heartburn or indigestion can be misinterpreted as digestive issues when they are actually indicative of a heart problem. Irregular heartbeat. Heart palpitations or irregular heartbeats, often described as skipped beats or a racing heart, can occur during a heart attack or before it. Coughing or wheezing. Coughing or wheezing that doesn't go away can be another warning sign which means that fluid is building up in your lungs. You may also cough up with mucus that may be pink or bloody. Swelling in the legs, ankles, or feet. Swelling, edema, in your lower legs is another warning sign of a heart issue. When your heart is not working properly, blood flow slows and backs up in the veins in your legs. This causes fluid to build up in your tissues, resulting in swelling. Cancer is a complex and multifaceted disease that is a leading cause of death globally. It occurs when abnormal cells in the body grow and multiply uncontrollably, often forming tumors. Cancer can affect any part of the body and can be classified into several types based on the organ or tissue where it originates. Here we will discuss colon cancer the most chronic type of cancer. Colon cancer, also known as colorectal cancer, is a type of cancer that originates in the large intestine, colon, and can affect people of all ages. Colon cancer is a silent killer, often presenting no symptoms in its early stages. It is essential to make awareness of its warning signs. Recognizing these signs early can significantly improve the chances of successful treatment and recovery. Here are the common warning signs of colon cancer. Blood in stool. The presence of blood in the stool is the most common symptom of colon cancer. It may appear as bright red blood, black tarry stools, or dark red blood mixed with stool. If you notice blood in your stool or experience rectal bleeding, consult your doctor immediately. It needs early medical attention for proper diagnosis and treatment. Changes in bowel habits. One of the most common early signs of colon cancer is a change in bowel habits such as diarrhea, constipation or a change in the consistency of stool. Individuals may also experience a feeling of incomplete bowel movements. If you experience persistent changes, consult your doctor. Persistent abdominal discomfort. Persistent abdominal discomfort such as cramps, bloating, gas, or pain may signal any gastrointestinal problems, including colon cancer. This discomfort may persist despite dietary changes or the use of over-the-counter medications. Unexplained weight loss. Unintentional weight loss can occur when the body is expending energy to fight off cancer cells. While weight loss can be due to changes in diet or exercise, if it occurs rapidly and without apparent cause, it's essential to consult a healthcare professional for evaluation. Fatigue and weakness. Chronic fatigue and weakness that doesn't improve with rest can be a cause of advanced colon cancer. Cancer cells consume a significant amount of the body's energy, leading to feelings of exhaustion. Changes in bowel movements. Persistent changes in the size, shape, or color of stool, especially if accompanied by other symptoms, should not be ignored. Narrow or pencil-thin stools, in particular, 
may indicate a blockage in the colon. Rectal pain or discomfort. Rectal pain can be a warning sign of colon cancer, especially if it is persistent and accompanied by other symptoms. Rectal pain associated with colon cancer may present as a dull ache, discomfort, or sharp pain in the rectum or lower abdomen. Iron deficiency anemia. Colon cancer can cause chronic blood loss from the gastrointestinal tract, leading to iron deficiency anemia. Symptoms may include weakness, fatigue, pale skin, and shortness of breath. It's the most common cancer worldwide and a leading cause of cancer-related deaths. Researchers have identified several factors that may increase the risk of colon cancer. Age. Colon cancer risk increases with age. Colon cancer may happen at any age, but most colon cancer patients are older than 50. Diet. Colon cancer and rectal cancer might be linked with the typical Western diet. A diet high in red and processed meat, low in fiber, and high in sugar can increase the risk of colon cancer. Inflammatory bowel disease. Inflammatory bowel diseases are conditions that cause pain and swelling of the intestines and can increase the risk of colon cancer. These conditions include ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. Genetic mutations. Certain genetic mutations, such as familial adenomatous polyposis, FAP, and Lynch syndrome, can increase the risk of colon cancer. Family history. Having a family history of colon cancer increases the risk of getting this disease. Having more than one family member who has colon cancer or rectal cancer increases the risk more. Physical inactivity. People who are not physically active are more likely to have an increased risk of colon cancer. Getting regular physical activity might help lower this risk. Diabetes. People with diabetes or insulin resistance have an increased risk of colon cancer. Obesity. People who are obese or overweight have an increased risk of developing colon cancer. Smoking. Smoking is a significant risk factor for developing colon cancer, as well as many other types of cancer. Alcohol consumption. Excessive alcohol consumption can increase the risk of colon cancer. Environmental factors. Exposure to certain chemicals and environmental factors, such as pesticides and heavy metals, may increase the number of various cancers, including colon cancer. Lung disease refers to several types of diseases or disorders that prevent the lungs from functioning properly. Lung disease can affect respiratory function, or the ability to breathe, and pulmonary function. The most common types of lung disease are asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, tuberculosis, TB, pulmonary fibrosis, pneumonia, lung cancer. Understanding the causes of lung diseases is crucial for prevention and management. There are several causes including smoking. Smoking is the leading cause of lung disease, responsible for about 80% of all lung cancer deaths and 70% of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, deaths. Even non-smokers are at risk if they are exposed to secondhand smoke which contains many harmful chemicals. Air pollution. Air pollution, both indoor and outdoor, is a significant cause of lung disease. Exposure to pollutants such as particulate matter, ozone, nitrogen dioxide and sulfur dioxide, can cause inflammation and damage lung tissue and increase the risk of respiratory problems. Genetics. Genetic factors can play a role in the development of lung disease, particularly in conditions such as cystic fibrosis and alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. A family history of lung disease can increase an individual's susceptibility to developing similar conditions. Infections. Infections caused by bacteria, viruses, and fungi can lead to various lung diseases. Pneumonia, bronchitis, and tuberculosis are examples of lung infections that can cause significant health problems if not treated promptly. Occupational exposures. Certain jobs expose workers to harmful substances. Exposure to hazardous materials in the workplace, such as asbestos, silica, coal dust and chemical fumes, can increase the risk of developing lung disease. Radiation exposure. Radiation therapy to the chest area can increase the risk of lung disease, particularly lung cancer.
Lifestyle factors. Lifestyle factors, such as a poor diet, lack of exercise, and excessive alcohol consumption, can increase the risk of developing lung disease. Age. As people age, their risk of developing lung disease increases, especially after the age of 65. Allergens. Exposure to allergens such as pollen, dust mites, and pet dander can trigger asthma and other allergic respiratory conditions. Managing environmental allergens is crucial for individuals with these sensitivities. Radon gas. Radon is a naturally occurring radioactive gas that can accumulate in homes, particularly in basements and lower floors. Long-term exposure to radon gas increases the risk of lung cancer. In this video, we will explore common signs that may indicate that your respiratory system is compromised. Persistent cough. One of the most common warning signs of unhealthy lungs is a persistent cough. While a cough can be a natural response to clear irritants or infections, if it lasts for more than two weeks, it may indicate any issue. Chronic coughing could be a symptom of various lung conditions, such as asthma, chronic bronchitis, or even lung cancer. Shortness of breath. Shortness of breath, also known as dyspnea, is another sign that needs your attention. If you find yourself struggling for breath during routine activities that previously didn't cause any discomfort, it could be an indication of lung problems. Seek medical evaluation and determine appropriate treatment. Wheezing. Wheezing is a high-pitched whistling sound that occurs when air passages are narrowed or obstructed. If you notice wheezing, particularly during or after physical exertion, it may be an indication of asthma, allergies, or other respiratory diseases. Chest tightness. Chest tightness often accompanies wheezing and can create a sensation of constriction or pressure in the chest. These symptoms should not be ignored, and medical consultation is necessary to diagnose. Chest pain should always be taken seriously, especially if it lasts for a month or more. Frequent respiratory infections. Repeated respiratory infections can signify weakened lung function. Chronic infections can cause inflammation and damage to the lung tissues, making them more susceptible to further infections. Consulting a healthcare professional can help identify the issue. Coughing up blood. Coughing up blood, known as hemoptysis, is an alarming symptom that should never be ignored. While it may not always indicate a severe condition, it can be a sign of lung cancer, tuberculosis, or other serious lung diseases. If you experience coughing up blood or notice blood in your sputum, seek immediate medical attention for a comprehensive evaluation. Unexplained weight loss. Significant and unexplained weight loss can sometimes be associated with any lung disease. If you notice a sudden and significant drop in weight without changes in diet or physical activity, it is important to seek medical advice. Chronic mucus production. Mucus, which is also called sputum or phlegm, is produced by the airways as a defense against any infections or irritants. If your mucus production has lasted a month or longer, this could indicate any lung disease and you should consult your doctor. Alzheimer's disease is a devastating brain disorder that slowly destroys memory and thinking skills, and ultimately, the ability to carry out the simplest tasks. This disease is the most common form of dementia among older adults. Alzheimer's disease is a complex and multifactorial disorder that is not yet fully understood. However, research has identified several risk factors that contribute to its development. Age. Age is the most significant risk factor for Alzheimer's disease. As we age there are changes in brain structure and function that contribute to the development of Alzheimer's. The probability of developing Alzheimer's disease increases exponentially after the age of 65. Family history. Family history plays a significant role in Alzheimer's disease, with individuals having a first-degree relative, parent or sibling with Alzheimer's being at higher risk of developing the disease. The risk increases if multiple family members are affected.
Lifestyle factors. Lifestyle factors also have a substantial impact on the development of the disease. Physical inactivity, smoking, and excessive alcohol consumption have all been linked to an increased risk of Alzheimer's. Genetic factors. Genetics plays a significant role in Alzheimer's disease, with certain genetic mutations significantly increasing the risk of developing the disease. The most well-known genetic risk factor is the APOE Epsilon 4 gene, which is present in approximately 25% of people with Alzheimer's. Other genetic mutations, such as presenilin 1 and presenilin 2, have also been linked to early-onset Alzheimer's. Diet and Nutrition A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats such as the Mediterranean diet is associated with a lower risk of cognitive decline and Alzheimer's disease. These foods provide essential nutrients and antioxidants that protect the brain from damage. Medical conditions. There is a strong link between cardiovascular health and brain health. Certain medical conditions, such as diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and sleep disorders, have been linked to an increased risk of Alzheimer's. Brain changes in pathologies. Amyloid plaques are abnormal clumps of protein fragments called beta amyloid. These plaques accumulate between nerve cells, neurons, and disrupt cell function. Another characteristic of Alzheimer's is the presence of neurofibrillary tangles. These tangles are twisted fibers of a protein called tau that build up inside neurons. These tangles interfere with transporting essential nutrients and molecules within the cells, ultimately leading to cell death. They are thought to play a critical role in the progression of Alzheimer's disease. Cognitive and social engagement. Engaging in intellectually stimulating activities, such as reading, puzzles, and learning new skills, can help maintain cognitive function. Social interaction and a strong support network are also important for mental health and may reduce the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. Environmental factors. Exposure to air pollution, pesticides, and heavy metals has been linked to an increased risk of Alzheimer's. Additionally, social isolation and depression have also been identified as risk factors for cognitive decline. The role of inflammation. Chronic inflammation in the body has been linked to various diseases, including Alzheimer's. Research suggests that inflammation may contribute to the development of Alzheimer's by damaging brain cells and promoting the formation of amyloid plaques. Head trauma. Repeated head injuries, such as those sustained in contact sports or accidents, increase the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease and other dementias. Traumatic brain injury. TBI can lead to long-term changes in brain function and structure, making individuals more susceptible to neurodegenerative diseases. Other health conditions. Certain health conditions, such as depression, sleep disorders, and chronic stress, are linked to an increased risk of Alzheimer's disease. These conditions can contribute to changes in brain chemistry and function, potentially accelerating the development of Alzheimer's. Here we will explore common warning signs of Alzheimer's disease. Memory loss. Memory loss is one of the earliest and most common symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. If you or a loved one is experiencing forgetting things often or struggling to retain new information, such as forgetting recent events or conversations, difficulty learning new information, repeating statements and questions, misplacing items, getting lost, and forgetting names of family members and everyday objects are common symptom of Alzheimer's disease. Communication and language. Alzheimer's disease can affect communication and language, like difficulty finding the right words, trouble with understanding or following conversations, struggling with reading or writing, using incorrect words or phrases, poor judgment and problem solving. Alzheimer's can affect problem-solving skills, leading to difficulty with decision-making, planning, and judgment. People might have trouble managing finances, cooking, or performing daily tasks. Mood changes. Alzheimer's can cause mood swings, anxiety, depression, and agitation. Sudden changes in personality, becoming easily upset, 
or withdrawal from social activities are all red flags. Confusion and disorientation. Alzheimer's disease can cause confusion and disorientation, including getting lost in familiar places, difficulty understanding time or place, trouble with recognizing people or objects, forgetting where things are or why they are there. Social withdrawal. Alzheimer's can lead to social isolation, as people might avoid social interactions due to feelings of embarrassment or frustration. Difficulty doing familiar tasks. Forgetting how to do a typical routine or task, such as preparing a meal, paying bills, or playing a game. Personality changes. Alzheimer's disease can cause changes in personality, including becoming more passive or suspicious, exhibiting impulsive behavior, showing a lack of empathy or concern for others, engaging in repetitive behaviors, difficulty with coordination and movement. Alzheimer's can affect physical abilities, such as difficulty with balance and coordination, trouble with walking, sitting, or standing, changes in handwriting or difficulty with fine motor skills, exhibiting tremors or muscle rigidity, loss of initiative. People with Alzheimer's might lose interest in activities they once enjoyed or require prompting to complete tasks, losing interest in friends, family, and favorite activities. The liver is a vital organ of our body, responsible for many important functions in our body, including metabolism, detoxification, production of proteins necessary for blood clotting, nutrient transport, food digestion, energy storage. However, many factors may disrupt its functions, leading to many liver diseases. Understanding the causes behind these conditions is essential for better health management and overall well-being. Viral Hepatitis Different viruses and parasites can infect the liver and cause inflammation. These viruses spread through blood or semen, contaminated food or water, or close contact with an infected person. The most common types of viral hepatitis are hepatitis A, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, B, hepatitis D, and E. Alcoholic liver diseases. Excessive alcohol consumption can cause various liver conditions, including fatty liver, alcoholic hepatitis, and cirrhosis. Non-alcoholic fatty liver diseases. These diseases are caused by obesity, insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome, unhealthy diets rich in processed foods, sugars, and unhealthy fats. This contributes to fat accumulation in the liver and is called non-alcoholic fatty liver diseases, NAFLD. In some cases, NAFLD can progress to non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, NASH, a more severe form of liver inflammation. Autoimmune hepatitis.
The signs in Understanding these deadly diseases